For the jumping pull-up, the athlete must hit the bar anywhere between the wrist and the elbow when standing fully upright and fully extended. We recognize that there is a rather large variance here, but because of everybody's varying height and arm length, the point of performance here is that when the athlete's arms are extended, the bar must hit between elbow and wrist. When the athlete begins the jumping pull-up, he or she must have his arms fully extended at the beginning. The athlete will then jump and convincingly get his or her chin over the bar at the top. At the bottom, the athlete must again reach full extension with control. If the athlete is moving so fast that the judge cannot determine if the athlete has full extension, this will be considered a no rep. Again, if the athlete starts with any flexion or bend in the arm and then jumps his or her chin over the bar, this will be considered a no rep. If the athlete starts with full extension but does not get his or her chin all the way over the bar, and by all the way we mean convincingly over the bar, that will also be considered a no rep.